Hello everyone, I am Sacred, a hearty welcome to you all and thank you for joining me in another mod spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are going to take a look not to Europe, not to Asia, now we are going to take a look to the American continent. The mod, I'm going to spotlight what we call Native American Tribes. A link to the mod to my Patreon and to countless ref links you should uh, please take a look on are down below in the description. Go sure to check the mod out and to give it a like or even to favorite it. It is 135 megabytes big and it's well quite enjoyable to say the least. Go sure to write it with a thumbs up if you liked it. So now let's see in the description it says this mod supports 1.41 version and 1.40. Also this mod is in it's pre-alpha version, so don't accept for too much for now. What would have happened? So the scenario here is, what would have happened if the USA didn't capitulate all of the Indian tribes? And what would be happening if these tribes fought back? Uh, there's a new update, 0.45 for this mod. There's a new tribe, let's open the map first. There's a new tribe, Potawomi, Iroquois folks tree fixing. Start screen fixing, event fixing, and bug fixing. So we, you can select from one scenario, the rise of the Indians, 1st of January 1936. What would have happened if some of the Native American tribes would have come back to existence? Would they hate USA? Would they be their friends? Maybe even they will create a strong faction. All of this can happen in this mod. Let's see, so we are following majors. The Euroki Nation is a major, and then we have the other, the Inca as well. So Euroki Nation, with the nice, its history is with the new rise of the Native American tribes. So this tribe is one of the strongest. Will you put an end to the USA? Maybe you will create the strongest faction. Who knows what will happen? This is led by Hiawata. They are non-aligned, authoritarian, and they have the home of the free. But they also have the Great Depression and the Undisturbed isolation. Damn, that that certainly hurts for the Iroki. And they are the Inca. They have the undisturbed isolation as well, and the Great Depression. And they are the home of the free. So let's see. Let's take a look to the map. Well, here it's all the same and boring. But if you take a look here, you can see that the USA is actually split up into many states. Uh, here we are still a central government, but then we have the CEO, the Cheyenne, the Shoshone, the Apache. The Apache, yeah, then the Powatelmi, the Iroquois, and then we have the Aztecs, the Maya, and then in South America we have the Inca as well. Let's take a look and start with the Iroquois, the main faction, the main country here in this modification. Alright, the Iroquois, they have 43 factories. Oh, never mind, they have a custom focus tree apparently, but the okay, focus tree is somewhat finished. You can either go fascists, democratic, so yeah, they have a focus tree at least. You can create a faction and then invite all of the nations to your faction. Then you have a focus tree where you can go either democratic, communist or fascist. You have political efforts where you can fight the USA. Or befriend the USA and unfight the Canadians. You can become a power, more research slots in total. You can get three more research slots and massive. Seven, 80% research boosts. And here, massive research boosts as well. And so then, you can get some more manpower. And then more experience, more synthetic oil, more rubber, more particle power. Some more motorization bonus, and then 7 times 90%. Well, that's an OP focus tree in terms of research, I have to admit. Well, that's about the Iroqui. Let's take a look to the other factions here. Also, Iroqui starts off with 1,500 political power, with a manpower of, well, with a standing army of around 700,000, so you, you could easily conquer the USA within the first time. And also, 43 factories. And America, well, still is one of the strongest nations in the world, but they are greatly weakened. Greatly weakened. And we have the Apache with 113,000 units. They have the generic focus tree. We have the CU nation with an army of 400,000. They have um, the normal focus tree, the generic one. Cheyenne has the generic focus tree. They are led by the little wolf. Little wolf, that's quite interesting. Little wolf is leading Cheyenne. 
you would start off with around a hundred thousand uh, soldiers there. I mean, your total manpower is two hundred twenty-five thousand. So yeah, good luck playing this. Then Shoshone Nation, you would start off with around one hundred twenty-four thousand soldiers, twelve factories, and the leader would be Porcatello. I don't know if it plays this nation and being led by Hollow Horn Beer. Well, I like the fact that they all have custom pictures. That's a nice flavor addition, to say the least. Let's take a look to South Africa. Well, Mexico is greatly, I would say, weakened. They only have three factories and they're kind of non existent. They don't even have a, a single military one. Then we have the Aztecs, which seem to be a really strong nation with around 400,000 units. The Aztecs, truly an empire. With 400,000 units and 41 factories. The Aztec focus tree is the generic one, and they are led by Kuau uh, Temok. Kuau Temok, how you can see. And then we have the Maya nation here. The Maya has also the same amount of units, around 400,000. So a Maya Aztec war would be interesting to see, but I don't think this will happen since this mod is still incomplete and they're both non lines. Then we have uh, the Inca down below here, nation of the Inca in South America, with an army of nearly half a million men and 43 factories, so they are also quite the powerhouse. The Inca has the generic focus tree, so because the only nation which has a custom focus tree in this mod is the Iroquois, we're gonna take a look to the Iroquois. Yeah, so let's get back to the game and let's start it as the Iroquois and see how far, how powerful we can become. And let's see even if we can conquer the United States of America with Nice. Alright, so native revenge, what's I here? Native revenge on the Americans. Rise of the Indians and the rise of the Eurocree will apply without the historical focuses as the Eurocrees. And I'm going to go communist here because last time I went fascist, but I want to know which Ideology you would have picked, so go sure to vote it in the, in the video. So I'll go communist, and we have elite Iroquois infantry. Elite infantry. Elite, alright. I don't know why they have 8,000 infantry equipment, that's quite a bit. Let's split them up into two fronts. Actually, here, I'll only need, I would say, seven to conquer this bit, and the rest can thoroughly advance. Towards central, towards the center of the United States, the 20 Iroquois divisions will advance swiftly into the American heartland, at least. Uh, Alright, like this, into Washington, full conquering of the USA should force the surrender. Alright, let's research it now. We only start off with two research slots, so we'll have to get it advanced. Let's get the construction efforts. I would say, yeah, we start off with a really high amount of resources. We it's for this max out. We have we have oil, rubber, steel, and tungsten. We have 111 oil, so I don't think you'll need anything. The only thing you'll need is tungsten and chromium. But this is because of the fact that I think a province can't have more for resources. I think that's why. A war just happened. I think a war, let's see what happened. A war is ongoing. Current war, the Inca Peruvian War and the Maya Aztec War, so never mind. What I said actually happened. Wow. Congratulations, Monty Volopa. Really, is this really interesting? The much second my are in a war, and I mean there's only there are only one province to fight the war at. So this will be really interesting to see who is go going to win this Italian war. And then the Inca declared war on the Argentinians and on the Peruvians. I think they're gonna win both, to be honest. They declared war on both. Well they are Fighting the Americans as well, but we're gonna help them to say the least. Then I'll intend to get, let's say, more. Uh, oh, I can't get anything else because, yeah, it's really. We have 43 out of 12 uh, naval dockyards there, so I can maybe. I really not know what to build. I cannot really build. I mean, I have maximized infrastructure, I have maximized airbase, I have maximized anti air. Yeah, I could build anti air, but I don't really see a necessity. For building up here, so instead I'm just going to get weapons, for equipment, artillery, my tanks are too old and too out of date, same goes for the plane, so I'll just get weapons, for equipment and artillery and even more weapons. Naval dockyards, we have no ports, but we don't have a port. 
Well, anti is the only thing I can build, so let's, I guess, yeah, build anti air. Yeah. Or don't really mind, to be honest. I want to get counters as quick as possible, so let's go and get this done. We can get this done in around, uh, around 140 days. In 168 days, you can become a communist, so within this year. I have no ports. That's, that's interesting. I mean, I have 50 nil lockets, but I have no ports. I find this rather amusing, to say the least, in that aspect. Well, we have 1,500 power. I'll use this trolley. I'll use this. In the first instance to... Uh, well, let's get a... We don't need this. We can get traditional roles, power and politics. Now we can get hierarchy. We can... Oh, we don't have a high command. We don't have any... Military stuff available to Ali, so that's a shame. We can get a random military... We don't even have a theorist, that's sad. We can get... That's real concern. Entry equipment designer, then we can get ship designer, and also... Uh, we can get exchange of ideas, and lessons of history. Let's leave that open. Now let's go communist. Communist description. After this, I will form the alliance with the United Factions. I think I am not going to conquer the Americans entirely. I will, let's say, take this area from them, this area. And I'm going to leave a, uh, well, a good area puppeted, to say the least. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a good area independent of the Americans. I'm going to take this uh, rich deposits of steel, oil, and aluminum. Aluminum they have in Texas. I'm going to annex all of these states here these states. The rest they can keep. So they're gonna still have a, well, around, I would say, 50 million people living in independent America, but at least. The US doesn't have any, any cause, so keep that in mind. They aren't a strong nation there. Well, they can keep their fleet, but their fleet will be sent away to uh, their base here in California. Let's say I'm also going to... They can take, keep Puerto Rico. Oh, actually, they don't have it as a cause type. That's rather interesting. I thought they did. Well, alright, well, the Spanish Civil War has begun, oh no, communists, now let's uh, get communist rules. This will put the communist party in power. Well, this uh, happened quite quick, to say the least, didn't it? Let's get a light equity zone and let's save the power so we can enact war economy. Alright, our army, what, we have plus 280,000 infantry equipment in the storage, 280,000? And our infantry is called our Cree Infantry Division. It's, wow, really, really maximized out. Well, we certainly don't need any uh, infantry equipment. I don't know why we are losing it. It's because of reinforcement, I guess. But why are uh, they... Why do they certainly require more and more equipment? Oh, what happened? Damn it, I clicked it away. Oh, what? The... Inca actually lost the war? How did Inca lost the war? They had so many divisions. Well, now the Democrats are leading in Inca and Argentine annexed to the province of Antofagista. Well, Inca... Uh, Alright, I don't know what happened there. I really don't know what happened. I think if a player played this, the war would have become different. I don't know, we are... Oh, what? Colombia is a puppet? Appar oh yeah, Colombia is a puppet of our key, so apparently Colombia is a puppet of us. Well, that is interesting to say the least in that aspect. I wouldn't have expected that to have Colombia as a puppet. We can... That's quite interesting. That that's, I wouldn't have expected that. We have all oh, 15 <coughs> individuals there. Let's explain the reason. Well, why are they... Oh, attrition. Well, I cannot really send them away, can I? Because I have no... They have to die there or what? That's... I don't like that. The, the fact they have to die there. This is not really well made. I have 15 divisions and they have to just kill themselves there. I can maybe spread them out a bit. Well, that's interesting. That's why I was losing so much equipment. So much equipment. Okay, now let's actually train tons of more divisions then in our nation. Right, in the province called Araki, we're training half a million men. Well, okay, I don't know what you, I, I could build, of course, I could develop Colombia. Let's build another serum factory here in uh, this province. In La Libertad. La Libertad. And then, the, actually, let's build a military one. Military factory, so they can get some armaments up and going, I would say. 
Yeah, I have... Well, units there, but the problem is that they really, um... They're kind of killing themselves via attrition. That's not really good to see. Well, now we are communists. We are communists still here. Wata is leading us. Well, the popularity is only 1%, so it didn't really work. I thought it would increase. It didn't really work, so we have to get the supporter. I mean, it's sad here that it would increase by 20%. It really didn't increase, did it? Not really. That's, that's weird. So I'll just go to become a power. This is your first focus to an outstanding future. That sounds great. It's time to justify against the Americans. It will cause 53% of world tension, I would say. 53%. This would... I, I don't know the tactic. I can... Yeah, I can justify against the Philippines. And then we won't have the problem. I can simply justify against them. Yeah, only 2%. But still, <laughs> since they are a puppet of the Americans, it would draw them automatically into the war. And then problem solved. Well, it's time to... Yeah, just 2 more percent, now we can enact work on it, so let's save for that, save for the annexation of the war economy. It's finished, now I could just... Uh, can I see... Yeah, there we have the American units, let's declare war on the Euro key. Call allies. Well, I declare war on them, let's also get the uh, more research slots 1. Actually, let's get more research slots 1. This is one step closer to be the most outstanding fact. I think fact. I think that isn't how technological is spelled, is it? Currently in the world. And now I have to actually increase my uh, drafting policy. All right, now it's time for army to attack. Led by Field Marshal Chief Corn Planter, and they're gonna attack aggressively towards the Americans. Oh, I want to see no prisoners. No prisoners. There we go. Let's see how long the Americans can resist. Let's load on the speed to speed 4. I think against these units we just have to march through and then they kind of fall and so we will capture Box, Boston and Bangor. And there we see we encircle the American divisions in this front, so let's get rid of them by ourselves. There we go. Alright, so we are training to 32 divisions, 32. Let's about train them and send them to the front at once. At once, let's get eight for this purpose because I want to also I want to garrison a naval lockout so the Americans won't do a surprise naval invasion. Well, the war. Oh, it's really in a really interesting mode. I can only suggest you to try this out. There are three wars: the Maya Aztec War, Spanish Civil War, and the Euro Key American War. We kind of captured the American provinces here, so the Americans are already 32% uh, towards capitulation. I don't know why we have 15 uh, dying. Oh, okay, no, they aren't dying, that's great. Well, alright, I could stage a coup there, but I don't see a reason why I should do that. Let the Americans have their air supremacy. There we go. Soon there are no more left. 44 divisions, come on, Chief Compounder, he's quite OP, he has a defensive doctrine, log logistics wizard, offensive doctrine, and fast planner. We only lost 1,000 men, and the Americans lost 65,000. I think that's quite nice, we have 1.25 million men, feel that, but the Americans only have around 300,000 men. I would say, rest in peace, Americans, rest in peace. Let's uh, garrison these parents with Raleigh, alright. Require 12 divisions, that's fine. Let's also garrison these provinces because we are gonna get there at one point if we control them, of course, which we will. And I can increase my production of, I would say, more artillery and more equipment. I can finally get some ships. Let's get some. Hey, I want to have the strongest navy in the world, so let's get a light cruiser since that's the only really modern ship. I'm going to get this and then yeah, let's get a good amount of the light cruisers and then deploy them in uh, Philadelphia yeah, Philadelphia alright, there we go well, there we go, we trapped two more American divisions two more oh, well, the Colombians are actually invading the Americans, they're helping us, well, that's interesting to see 
Oh, I have a, got a power of only 23 million, so I have to puppet the Americans. I'll puppet them, at least, so they can keep some of their industry, they can keep expanding, so we'll have a valuable ally and, more important, manpower to draw upon. Yeah, the Americans are doomed. Let's see when the war will end. Well, there have been no progress between the Maya and the Aztecs. Both are on war economy. I mean, they have to fight through one province, so I can't really see. And this province is also mountainous terrain, so a really heavy advantage for the defender. I don't like, I can't see them winning it. But I'm really shocked that the Inca actually lost the war. Oh, we are advancing swiftly through American terrain. There we go. Okay, we need small units to keep them garrisoned, but that's fine. We're going to annex them at one point anyways. Now it's time for more research. Let's do this is the second step to be a technological power. The renewal of the Rome Protocol. So the Americans, well, they are only 57% towards capitulation. That's alright. Okay, we have one more division. The 43rd winged victory. I don't think this will be a victorious battle for them. The 24th European infantry division is doing a tactical withdrawal. Intercept now proceeds. Intercept again. They are doing a wait. For how long can they keep evading? Judge as pattern. Nothing for long. We are simply trapping the divisions one after one. Quick capture Chicago. Let's expand our forces. There we go. Captain Charleston, then Atlanta, then Birmingham. Let's march to Atlanta. I think after we capture Houston, the Americans should surrender. They already lost 193,000 units. 95,000. We only lost around 30,000. Colombians lost 8,000. So the Colombians lost a bit. I'm not going to send my units away since the Americans would intercept the convoys and most likely kill them, which isn't really in my interest. So. Rather not. But I can enact the war economy. Oh, not. It's only 14%. Well, that will surely increase at one point. Surely increase. So, keep it safe. Tag bonus. And I'll go. Oh, I can't change that. Why? Uh, because. Okay. Hm, fine. Let's capture Miami with the Euro Key Infantry Division. There we go. Miami is cut off from supplies. So. Miami is ours. Let's go to New Orleans. The Americans reallocated their capital actually to Los Angeles, but I don't think we have to go all the way through there. I think we are doing great. We are doing a great job against to the United States. Certainly, our army will be the strongest of all. Really, a well equipped, well trained army we'll have. The Iraqi army. It's already 1.2 million strong, so incredibly strong at this very point. Yeah, we are just marching through America on a post. After capturing Houston and Dallas, I expect the war to be over. Because that's worth 20 victory points. Don't have to think we have to capture... Min min maybe let's capture Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Oh, I didn't really hear from these cities. Minneapolis is... There we go. Let's get uh, some... Get rubber here. Let's get more manpower. This focus will give you more manpower. Oh, thank you, man. I didn't know. Thanks a lot. The Americans are 80% towards capitulation. They lost nearly a half million men. Well, I think we all can agree that the Americans simply weren't expecting the overwhelming strength of our army. The overwhelming strength of our army. There we go. We have to capture more provinces. Let's go to San Antonio. I'll have to uh, make a new order. Actually, let's go and march to Los Angeles. There we go. In Los Angeles, comrades. In Los Angeles. Okay, here. Yeah. Should attack. Why aren't they moving out? I don't really get it. So let's go ahead. Alright. Yeah. Oh, they're moving out there. Okay, now they're moving out. Scan off swiftly. Let's capture the province of Bismarck. That's worth it as well. One victory point. Well, they have even Italian volunteers, but these Italian volunteers can't really protect them from the fight, I'd say. Not really. The Americans are, look to that, 88%, 88% towards calculation. Well, we are a major, so after we surrender them, we'll get the Philippines as our nice vassal state as well. 
But since the Americans don't have any victory points left, I think we actually have to go ahead and capture Los Angeles. Yeah. Well, things are going swift and fine. Okay, let's march through the land swiftly. Okay, into Los Angeles. We have to go all the way. I'll make a new command. I'll assign these uh, 14 divisions to clean up in that instant, to clean up this front line. Well, I'd like to hear the opinion of the Canadian border guard, to be honest. Like, they're just seeing native American troops pounding uh, American lines, destroying and killing American units. I'm not sure what the British would think of that. Kind of scared, maybe. Good sigh. Into San Francisco. Alright, yeah, like this. This would be a nice battle plan. I'll just lean back, increase the game, and I think in this episode we should win the war at once. And if this division just can't march through, like these can also march through to San Francisco. Alright, he's just going through the states. And my native American allies can just stay there, looking and watching. Hey, hello, hello! It's well, it was going great, at least. It's going great, certainly. 30 divisions, assign them all to this front line. Well, we encircled many Italian and many American. I think that's the, that's the, that are the remnants, the remnants of the American army. Before we do this, I won't just crush the Americans, just to kill them. Uh, they want to escape there, but this won't be possible. Yeah, this one line is going to give them a breathing room. They, they are fighting in the province of Nebraska. Okay, well, there are the divisions, there are the divisions, we're going to encircle them. Now we can go for the... Can someone tell me what's a Doctorine? A Doctorine bonus? Well, let's go f I want to get this, so I have to get more popular power. Well, Canada seed seeks immediate patriation. I think they saw that we are doing well on our own with all the Americans. I think that's why they want to get away. We are closing ourselves into Los Angeles and San Francisco. And we killed 429,000 American men. The remaining American army is at maximum 45,000 strong. So this, well, s tells us quite a bit about the American strength. Well, the Americans, they are not giving up easily, that's for sure. I mean, I can't really see them winning, especially with them having one division. The Philippines actually have a stronger army than the Americans. So that's really, really interesting. After capturing Los Angeles, oh, we have, uh, we have the Japanese defending the Americans. Look at that. Now they should surrender. There we go. Treaty of Los Angeles. Alright, how I told you, the Americans will uh, have a certain level of autonomy and independence. But I have to expand my area. I can't like just let, let them stay alive there. Let's get New York, New Jersey, New York, New England as well, then Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, let's get Texas as well, Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, <coughs> Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Wisconsin, yeah, the rest, the rest the, um, the Americans can keep. So they're still a uh, strong power outside. Let's take... And let's also settle out the Philippines. Alright, let's take that. Well, they can keep it, but they cannot stay independent. We're going to puppet the remaining American states. Alright, there we go. The Socialist Republic of Uruguay took 22 states. Who community of the Philippines was puppeted and the common states of America was also puppeted. Well, they have 27 civilian, 4 military and 3 naval lockouts. So they aren't really strong. So I want to help them getting stronger. Yeah, after we finished repairing the factories here. So, to say the least, we did great. We did great. I want to regroup my units first. They can for now just garrison the border. We are getting ready to fight the Germans as well to help the Soviet Union eventually. So, if you would like to see another episode, then go sure to write a comment and let me know if you want to see another one. I'd be, I'd be glad to, well, make another one if you want to see it. Alright, then let's garrison them, just yeah, do whatever they like. Alright. There we go, these new units should also move away from Colombia. 
Oh, we could also... Actually, let's never mind. Let's get these divisions here. We have 15 divisions here. We could fight Venezuela. They are fascists. We, or we could fight Peru. Or Ecuador. Yeah, let's fight the fascist Venezuelans, shall we? Let's do that. Alright, so... Let's see, 15 divisions, I think. Let's see if we can send even more without having a huge penalty. So the fascists will be neutralized. I'll go for the industrial effort, where we'll get actually 9 civilian factories in Florida, North Carolina and Ohio. And the 4 times 80% research boosts. And we enacted war economy and limited experts. Alright, well, now who dares to oppose us? Please tell us. I think I'm going to do the revolution in the whole world, so let's boost it in the UK. It's only quite a bit, so okay, and also in France. The Frenchman as well. Where too could we boost? We have too much power. Also in Japan, let's stage a eventual revolution in Japan. These are some great points. Well, if you forgot to research in the... We got it in one day, let's put it quite fast, to say the least. Special research division, let's into our army and get the land of trade research. We got radio. I could get this in 22 days. Uh, let's instead get better tanks. Yeah. Alright, go to the votes. Well, we did great. The common states of America. Next thing, actually, I'm going to do the Natives Alliance, the TNA. But I actually see that the, that the time has run out. So, thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go sure to drop a comment below if you want to see more or not. I'm Sacred and I'm out. Have a good day to you all and see you next time. Goodbye.